Hey guys, my name is Asher, and this is my armor shirt plus. The first thing we're going to be going over is my uh, big villain M4083. Um, this is a pretty affordable gun that you can get if you're like a beginner sniper. These are like uh, 80 bucks, 40 to 50 FPS. Uh, the scope is uh, 20, 20 by 4. Adjustable cheek rest, sling, and I uh, custom made uh, spray painted it. Very good, affordable uh, sniper rifle. Next gun is the HK416. I think 200 plus FPS. And Alright, adjustable stop. Uh, right off sight, uh, spray painted. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I think that was $160. Next one we have is a, a Spring 1911. It's like a, it's like a, a Stinger P311. It's okay gun, I guess, but it's not that good. But it's, it's still good if you want to start. Next thing we have is my uh, my bump helmet. I put some Lancer Tactical goggles on with the screen protector that came with that. I uh, spray painted it, put a GoPro mount on it. It's a pretty good bump on it. Has the zip ties. Yeah. Next, we have another bump helmet that's like uh, full black. If you guys know Krieger from Modern Warfare, it's kind of like what, what he has, like what it looks like. Uh, it looks pretty sick. Next, thing we have is the uh, this is a normal uh, airsoft mask. This is pretty good. Cool. I got this for like a birthday. I never use it, but. And we have my uh, Russian dog face uh, gas mask with this, which is like a. I don't know what it's called. And over here, we're gonna go into the second row with my hats. We have my uh, my beauty hat. I put some foliage on it and stuff. I cut off the brim, and it looks looks pretty sick. I think. And we have another booty hat on a digital camera, which is like all, all in black and like gray. I put, I cut off the brim as well. I put some paracord in it. Next we have a uh, US Army patrol cap. This is the UCP. Uh, my, one, of, one of my friends gave me that. Actually, we just have another one. Then we have a uh, monkey cam or OCP. Uh, you're starting control cap. This is what this new camouflage we're using now because that this camouflage got outdated in 2018. It just looks it's a terrible camouflage. But monkey cam is like the new new addition. Now we have a Oakley cap. Um, this is a, a marine patrol cap. Uh, I think a retired marine gave, gave this to me at, at back at my old house. I'm pretty fortunate to have this. Then I have, I have a, a Swiss Garrison cap. They use this in the winters, and they, they would put they would put down this down for a face mask. Next, we have a uh, another boonie hat. This was used in the Battle of Kuwait in 1981. Uh, my dad's friend had this in a in his job, and he, he was a ranger. Uh, my dad's friend. This is a bread. This is a normal beret. Looks pretty cool. Next, we're going over like the vest and plate carriers. This is what I use. This is the Condor MCR5. Uh, I put a uh, 511 IFAC on this. I have my walkie talkie. Um, next, we have my vest. I got this like four years ago. It's pretty cool. I have a really purposes. Then I have my, my plate carrier. I don't use that because I, I feel like it's too bulky, you know, I have to be like lightweight. Um, then we have this like, sort of like NVA chest rig, like North Vietnamese chest rig they use in Vietnam. Uh, then we have the, uh, this, the LBE, load bearing equipment. This is like Alice, like Alice LBE. Um, I put a, uh, I was like, 
canteen pouch and a canteen. Then a, a blood pack with a Alice pistol belt. Then I have a Alice LBV. Uh, LBV stands for load bearing vest. Uh, yeah. This, this is kind of like the new version for this. They, they wanted more stuff on the sides than on the bottom. Carrying more weight on the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, that's for the vest and plate carriers. Now we're going over the backpacks. Uh, we have my, like my airsoft backpack. I carry all my tools, my ammo. Just everything I need when I'm going like, to play, play airsoft. This is like, like a, kind of like a bug out bag, I guess. But this is like, kind of like an all purpose kind of bag. Then I have a, a tactical like messenger bag. The brand is UTG. Then we have right here is a uh, drum mag pouch for drum mags. Then a, a World War II, this is from World War II, it's like a hardware to put all your tools in when you're fixing vehicles. Then I have a uh, one liter canteen. Uh, this is also like my friend's, uh, my, my dad's friend, he was also a ranger, and this is like what he had as well. And food canteen. And we have I don't know how many lumens this has, but this is like a, a normal Alice flashlight you would have, which it issued in, like a all back. Uh, my my ghillie suit it doesn't fit me anymore, but it looks pretty pretty sick. This is the Russian dog face uh, like backpack. It has the uh, it has the filters inside right here. Uh, this is my this is my dad's sea bag that he got issued in when he was in the navy like eight years ago or probably probably more. Um, this is what you would put on on your backpack for like to make it like extra waterproof. So like over like that and you would clip it on. Next we're we're gonna be going over my uh, four uniforms right here. Uh, first we're gonna go by year from camouflage, woodland, uh, UCP, then monkey cam. We have like my, I put a, this, this is a woodland uniform. The pants don't match, but they're like OD green. But I'm probably gonna get woodland uh, camouflage, uh, like trousers. Put US Army here, put a, a ranger patch. It's, it's kind of like a rip off kind of ranger patch. This is mess with the vest, you dot the rest, I guess. Uh, next we have UCP ACUs. ACU can uh, stands for Army Army Combat Uniform. Oh, th this is the same kind of part of the pants. I took the name tag off, and yeah, I usually get this stuff off of like Goodwill for like twenty bucks, and like it's pretty cool. Or or the Army surplus, either one works. Yeah, it has a uh, road cut off on the side. Next we have the, the multi cam side. As you can see, on this side, it's more of like a, uh, like for when you're cold, or like, it's kind of the older version of this. Because this had more like, uh, like it's breathable, you don't sweat as much as that. But this is, this is the new KL flood that they use. It's called Multicam, or OCP. Uh, the same as this. This doesn't fit me, but the shirt does. And next we have is this uniform? This is kind of like for cosplay. If you guys know about Kruger from Modern Warfare, it's kind of like what, what, what he has, like it looks like. Uh, this is Flecktarn. Uh, it's the German camouflage that they use. Uh, next, we're going to go over, over the pants right here. This is this, uh, a standard, like, mossy oak uh, long sleeve t shirt. Then we have a tricolor desert. They use that camouflage a lot in, in Desert Storm. Next we have a long sleeve green t-shirt, uh, some standard like khakis. Now we have the uh, tiger stripe. Um, that was like what the South Vietnamese used. To, they kind of like, I think they made that, and during like the war of Vietnam. 
I have some uh, German pants. Got it from Armour Shirt Plus. It's pretty cool. I, I don't have the suspenders, but like, I'll get some of those soon. And yeah, that's kind of like the clothing. Now we're gonna go over more of the over here. Yeah. Right here, I have like my belts. Um, yeah, this is a Alice pistol belt. Then like, like what you would wear when you're going shooting. Uh, is a, I don't, the brand, attack shield. Some Under Armour socks. And yeah, that's now we're gonna go over like the more of the tactical stuff. So we just have like some standard uh, Molly attachments, Velcro. I uh, have a dump pouch. This is what I use on the Condor MCR5. Then I have the magazine holder or pouch. Then on this side we just have some rope of the Molly attachment. I have a Shimog. And I use this as well as uh, like for a Kruger on my rifle. I use this. Uh, it's like a mesh kind of face mask. We have some flashlights and uh, headlamps. Uh, hip holster. I have a like, metal mesh mask. Uh, this is a one tigress uh, metal ma mesh mask. That's I bet it goes my uh, airsoft load out. Uh, elbow pads, knee pads, hard knuckle gloves. This is like some baseball gloves. I have my uh, drop leg ho drop leg holster. Uh, fingerless gloves. This is a knife. We have some bullet clavas. Well, this is like a bullet clava. This is a regular mask. And yeah, and th these are the boots I wear all the time. These are the uh, Nike SFBs. SFB for uh, special field boots. Those are super comfortable. Okay, these are more of the boots I wear for like the winter. Um, these are Magnum, and they're like super waterproof. Not as comfortable, but like they get, they get the job done. And yeah, that's all the stuff I have for like my armor surplus. Thank you guys for watching.